Oh, Dom De Nero's got a jump in. He's got a bad back. Oh. Another Top Golf comic book shirt there by Chris Barton. Chris Shelton, is that, a, is that what the kids are up to these days? Is that what the kids call it? To my left. They represent the East Coast Syndicate yeah! and are fighting out of Brooklyn, New York. Accompanied to the ring by Tristan Ty. He? He's over there somewhere. They are the team of Chris Barton and Dominic De Niro. The, the gruesome twosome, as, as the shirt implies. Chris Barton check, checking our ring here. Yeah, big tag team matches here to kick off this edition of Dojo Wars. Three of the four men in this matchup, though, Will. Barton, Robinson, and Jay Free scheduled next week for that big gauntlet match to determine who will challenge Aaron Ash or Adrian Santos, the winners of the match tonight, for the CZW Medal of Valor at Super Show 20, Friday night, May the 17th. Of course. Uh, and, and you know, I mean, well, you have a, a well-oiled tag team here, like Dom De Niro and Chris Barton, and then you got you got a a relatively new tag team of Jay Free and Christian Robinson. They are the highest of high flyers, after all. I mean, I, I don't know what that means. Is, is, isn't that Ar Fox? In the vein of Ar Fox, at least. I mean, I, I I don't know what that means. Ring that bell. Ten minute time limit here for most of our contests at the dojo, especially for, aside from special occasions. De Niro, I think, of the four men in this match, has the most to prove lose in a losing effort last week to Vinny Talata. I mean, you always have to have something to prove if, if you choose to step between those ropes into a professional wrestling ring. Feel a little betrayed by life was uh, Dominic De Niro last week, a little down, felt like... Uh, Talata didn't really get the better of him in that singles contest, has a lot to prove, wants to step up in competition. And tonight, he and Barton are trying to kind of put their name in the hat for the CZW Dojo Wars Tag Team Championship. Uh, I mean, I mean, two, two guys like, like De Niro and Barton, I mean, they're, they're, their names are always in the hat. You know, they're always in the hunt. I, I've had my eyes on these guys, and I mean, very impressed with what they can do. Christian Robinson and Dominic De Niro exchanging hold for hold here to start. Robinson trying for the headlock, not quite having it, trying for the uh, go behind there. Now Snapmare. I mean, look at that. Robinson a little rocky on all, on all that uh, on all that grappling, as they call it. But, you know, still still, still got it done. Still got it done. Yeah, working the cross arm there, but again, not quite having it. Not as fluid as De Niro is. De Niro able to kick Robinson away very quickly there. Both men now back up to their feet. Early on, a feeling out process in this tag team contest. Crowd getting behind the action. I mean, of course, well, when you when you got a competitor like Dominic De Niro in there, of course you got to get behind him. A little bit of a test of strength here. I feel like De Niro, perhaps just from the looks of things, has the advantage. Robinson, though, deceptively strong. Both men kind of jockeying for position. De Niro now giving up on it, going for a go behind around the front end. A series of chops right across the chest of Christian Robinson. I mean, Robinson. I, I wouldn't know how strong Christian Robinson is because I never see him see him try any any lifting maneuvers. All I see him is doing all these all this running and flipping around. Oh, look at that sleeper hold. There that's, you go. See, that's that's the kind of professional wrestling I enjoy. 
Yeah, Robinson tried to use that agility, that speed to his advantage, ducking a series of those clotheslines, back elbows, but got caught in the middle with a sleeper hold. Now fighting it off all over the back. Underneath does Robinson. Oh, and no, yeah. tries for a Pele. And De Niro had that one scouted. Big I mean, kick right across the back. I mean, it, it's not hard to have a, a player like Christian Robinson scouted if, you, if, you're a, if you're a student of the game like Dominic De Niro is. Yeah, Robin still, Robinson still kind of finding his way, a super youthful competitor. Ooh. Springboard back elbow, no, but into a kind of a kick there. Oh, kick and down goes knee. De Niro. Again, Robinson, Robinson's still very young, very new to the game, trying to find his way, and you're right. Oh, there, that double drop kick. Shades there's a, a couple of moves here that a Christian Robinson does very, very well, and if you're a veteran like a Dominic De Niro, we could refer to him in the past as a the more seasoned member oh, of the East of Coast Speaking of seasons, Syndicate. look at that. Oh, big dive here. Summer Salt Plancha to the outside oh, goes can, Christian can Robinson. Chairs, though. Oh, it had taken a breather. You know, let's not forget perhaps maybe this underlying theme in the story of this contest we haven't talked about yet, as uh, Gabriel Sky has joined the East Coast Syndicate out here, is that last week Christian Robinson picked up a victory of all victories. Yes, we called over it last Gabriel week. Sky. Perhaps one of the biggest upsets so far in the dojo. Christian Robinson pinning Gabriel Sky. One, two, three. Reversing a reversal oh, of a reversal of and able to pick up that. Don't turn your back on Chris Barton. But this week's an entirely different beast of the East Coast Syndicate. You have the big bruiser in Barton. Oh. <laughs> As he just slams Robinson right across the chairs. And Robinson's hurt, Will. I mean, I mean once. We had thrown into some chairs, I would assume you are hurt. And Free looking to check on Robinson and gets oh, blasted no. from behind exactly. by Dominic De Niro. The East Coast Syndicate here, a well-oiled machine. They're also prepared for May the 17th. They've been asking for it for months since November when they really kind of solidified themselves, arriving on that scene, winning that big eight-man Survivor Series-style contest. Now they want Young, Dumb, and Broke. They've been begging, asking, pleading. And on May the 17th, Young, Dumb, and Broke, the East Coast oh. Syndicate, four versus four. Of course, and you know, I mean, well, like I said, I, I see a lot of potential in both teams, but if, if I had to pick one, I, I feel like the East Coast Syndicate could put it all together and pick up the victory, come, come our super show. Yeah, the battle for squad supremacy and... Chris Barton here battling for supremacy of his own big scoop and a oh. slam. Huge senton. Oh, would, wouldn't want to be Christian Robinson after Robinson that. may not have any ribs after this one. Lack of days will go cover by Barton. Only gets a two count. And Robinson quickly back off of his back. Oh, I has him so, a form of a head hold there. Nice cravat there by Barton. Back in De Niro into the corner. Uh, back in Robinson in the corner and tagging in De Niro. Cool. Whip De Niro with a spear oh. to the gut. Shoulder tackle and then a, a nice big back elbow by Barton. De Niro with an arm ringer bringing Robinson out of the corner. Ooh, release Northern Lights there. Yeah. Oh, he's looking for that, that Japanese stranglehold. This is what De Niro was, uh, or what Robinson looked to be applying on De Niro earlier, but he didn't quite have it, and De Niro was able to break free. Oh, now, that's you know, modifying it a little bit. A little bit of tit for tat here. De Niro now dropping him down, grinding, now working a head scissors there. He's just oh, basically oh, trying to smother cover, Robinson. Oh. Robinson, again, a little bit of wherewithal there, very similar to how he used his ring wherewithal to oh. beat Gabriel Sky. Exploded, though, on that back elbow by Dominic De Niro, my lord. Dominic De Niro eyeing up the camera. He wants to make sure the people at home saw that impressive maneuver. You know, we talked, uh, uh, he, he blew my phone up last week, knowing now that Dojo Wars is back here on our YouTube channel and CZW Studios. He wanted to make sure he let everyone out there know last week was not the normal Dominic De Niro. He got caught by Vinny Talata, and tonight he had something to prove. I mean, every, like I said earlier, I mean, every time you go out there, you, sh you should have something to prove. Either if it's to yourself or to others, you always got to have something to prove in this in this business. Barton with that. two big rolling sentons into the corner. Maybe didn't really catch either of them as Bart as excuse me, uh, Christian Robinson able to kick out. Barton now smothering Robinson. I mean, I mean, a big man like like a like a Chris Barton. I mean, you you, you could tap someone out with, with just a with a simple maneuver like that. Yeah, three minutes remaining into the time limit here. Jay Free has not been in this contest in quite oh. some time. Bicycle oh, that, kit. Oh, that could have popped Barton's shoulder out of yeah, socket. 
You know, it doesn't matter how big you are, you catch somebody in the right frame of mind. Robinson, though, right into the corner, didn't go for the tag, and he just got murdered with a clothesline. That, that's a youthful exuberance if I ever saw it, though, Will. See, it, it goes back to what, what I've been saying about Christian Robinson. There's something missing. He just can't put it together. I mean, if your tag partner is right there, instead of just showboating, why don't you just tag him? For the better part of this contest, Robinson's been isolated here by Barton and De Niro, the East Coast Syndicate. Jay Free was right there as well, though. Jay did not make the tag, kind of maybe not being used to being a tag team partner with Christian Robinson. I mean, I mean, like, like we've like we've said before, I mean, Jay Free not not the best track record with tag teams, but I I, I believe I said I mean these two similar people they might get along better than DK Meadows and. Jay Free did back in the past. Paul in Pando slam here looking from uh, De Niro, but no, he oh, gets him over the top breaker. into a shoulder breaker. A little bit of Road Dog, a little bit of Papa Shango. Cover, hook the leg, two. No, only a two count. Jay Free has got to be feeling antsy. He's been kind of strand, stranded on that ring apron. Oh, we've seen Don De Niro try for this in the past. Look at this. Yeah, this will end up in a DDT position. Oh, but no, but Robinson, Robinson kicks up to his feet, leaping in Zagiri. Oh, if Robinson's going to make this tag, he's got to do it now. He's got to do it now. Oh, Tagging tag in Jay Free. Free. De Niro trying to circle around. Oh, tags, tags in Barton. Barton. Jay's just waiting for him. Ducks a clothesline. Oh, big kicks. Kick. Kicks. A uh, series of shots. Barton up against the ropes. Jay Free reverses. Oh, oh. leaping lariat there. Jay Free meeting him in the middle. Oh. Another clothesline. These are two big boys just kind of collide in the center of the ring. Leaping leg lariat by Jay Free and down again goes Chris Barton. You, you, you know, on a, on a personal level, you know, uh, a while ago, me, me and Jay Free, we, we didn't see eye to eye. You know, as, as just people, we, we didn't see eye to eye. But Jay Free went out there one night and had an impressive match against Jimmy Rave. Oh, as Chris Barton barely kicks out there. Jay Free impressed against Jimmy Rave, and ever since then, uh, I, I felt that things have things have clicked for Jay Free, and me and him have have patched things up. And I think I think Jay Free could be a could be a future champion here in the dojo. Only 30 seconds left in this contest. Jay Free, though, uh, hitting that big lion salt. We saw him last week pick up the victory yes. over Griffin McCoy with that. And now here's Barton working on this submission hold. We saw him beat Key Mid last week with this. Oh, he's Everyone pulling out all the stops with just seconds to go. Oh, oh but look at this. Christian Robinson gets the headlock on. Oh, there Everyone just tied up in the corner. We're going to hit a time limit, Will. Oh, that's, that's the time. Call it. We got to call it. Time limit draw. Hell of a contest, though, with both teams. Got to feel like the East Coast Syndicate are feeling a little bit upset. The result of this match, a time limit draw. See, see, like Christian Robson, just just standing right up, uh, acting like he won something. I, it, it just goes back to him just not getting it. Now we we we've got a lot of matches tonight. I don't think I can give them five more.